in the month. The numbers look like murders would be lower this year compared to last, but sadly, that's no longer the case. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner joins us right now. She spoke with people living where these latest murders happened and what they saw. Brittany? We are now outpacing the homicide numbers compared to last year this time. Since Friday, four people were killed in the city and there were four others injured in various violent incidents. On Friday, just before 2 in the morning, police responded near the 2500 block of West Patapsco Avenue, where they found 23-year-old Antonio Wilkins, who had been shot to death. Then on Saturday evening, just before 8, police responded to another shooting, this time near the corner of Wilkins and Millington Avenue. I came from a meeting. I saw a man on the ground, and I went to the light to come around um, just to make sure that I was seeing what I saw and I saw a man um, laid out, passed out. There was a pool of blood by his head. Lakita Bellamy lives in that block where it happened and says she was just arriving home when she witnessed that aftermath. I didn't know if he got hit by a car, if he you know, was intoxicated and fell out. Um, and then someone said that they were just shooting out here. Police confirmed it was 53 year old Santos Hernandez who had been shot. He was taken to shock trauma where he was pronounced dead shortly after. I was a little nervous because I uh, had only saw like the car accidents, like, you know, like the drunk driving and I, you know, we don't want that either, but for it to be like shooting right on the same block, I started to feel a little unsafe. A few hours later, police responded to a different shooting, this time near the unit block of South Monastery Avenue. This one happened just before 11 on Saturday evening. Once there, they found another man who had been shot. He has not been identified, but he too was taken to shock trauma where he died. I pray for our, our city and our community and even our country to um, just pull together and, and just uh, value human life. At this time, it is unclear what the motive was for any of these shootings, and police have not named any potential suspects. But if you have information concerning what happened, you are urged to contact police.